get in the bin. Oh my god. Big ick. Uh, go wash it. Fuck, man. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat and I just want to say I hope you all are well. So as you can see from today's title, I see everyone on YouTube do it. So I thought, fuck it, I'm going to hop on the bandwagon and I'm going to do it as well. So today's video is what gives you the ick. So I've obviously had messages from girls and guys, mainly girls. So I'm just going to go through them. I haven't actually looked at a lot of them. I've seen a few because obviously I've had to put a post up a few days. Um, I've had to put the post up for a few days. And why did my voice go like that? So I've had like a brief look at some of them, but I've tried my hardest not to look at them because I want like a raw reaction. Honestly, when I think about what gives me the ick, not a lot of things, like it's hard for me to think like what a lot of things give me the ick. Like things that used to give me the ick doesn't give, necessarily give me the ick anymore. And I think that's just because I'm in a relationship. So a lot of the things I've just kind of let go or like, he doesn't, Dean doesn't have, if that makes sense. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. I push the bell notification and you'll get informed every time I upload a video. If you haven't checked out my PRT haul, please go do so. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Take a look at that and hold tight for my Sheen video. They'll be coming very shortly. Gun fingers in Snapchat videos. No, 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 no. I, this is, this is directed more, like, I don't even, this is a major ick, like, I don't know what boys think, how, I don't understand how boys think, this is attractive in a video, like, no, like, gun fingers, no, it's so, it's like, 10 year old chav behaviour, get in the bin, oh my god, I mean, I do it for a bit of jokes, but like, I don't, this is not like a Snapchat video, I don't go like, Yo, how's it? You know, like, I don't go like, oh, wogwanji. Like, I <laughs> so gross. Grow up. You're not 10. Ugly hands and feet. Now, I know that this one did come up, like, fingers, toes, everything, hands and feet related came up quite a lot. So I'm just going to address it now. I actually don't have an issue with hands and feet. The only thing, like, because... <laughs> <laughs> because I can't. It's, I'm such a hypocrite if I do. Because I bite, I get stressed really easily. I bite my nails. I try my hardest not to. But like when I'm in a really stressed situation, for example, the fact that I shut my finger in the car door, I bit all my nails off. Like took them all off. Because I just, it's just a stressful anxiety coping mechanism. And for toes, I really hate feet. I really hate feet. Dean has okay feet. I don't go out my way to touch them and stuff like that. But I have my dad's feet and they're so ugly. <laughs> so I, I'm taking like, I hold my hands up. Like I can't get, I can't use, I can't, I can't find that icky because I bite my nails and I have my dad's feet and they're really gross. So, but some people do have grotty. Some people do have really grotty hands and grotty feet. So I am with you on that one, but like to a small extent because otherwise I'm just a massive hypocrite and all of my friends would call me out on that. The monkey emoji, the ones that are like this. Yeah, from a boy. So a girl put this in about when a boy uses these emojis. No, like, it, I get it, it's meant to be cute, but like, I don't even know anyone that uses them emojis anymore. Like them emojis was the emojis that me and my friends would use at like 13, 14, when we were flirting with boys or we had like the other high school boyfriends. Or like the boys would send back like, I love you, <laughs> you know, like, no, like that's such child behavior. Like if you're a grown person, you're at age, I honestly would consider block. Like I'd be like, don't do that. Big ick, big, big, big ick. White socks with black trainers. Okay. Um, it depends on the trainer and the sock because I don't wear a lot of black socks. So, and I have a few pairs of black trainers. So I have to really round for black socks and it's a hard life okay but i do agree if you're gonna wear black trainers you have to wear black socks if you're gonna wear white trainers do not wear black socks like it's just too contrasting you know like let it blend from your foot to your ankle kind of thing you know but you got you gotta just you gotta be considerate some people don't have black socks i when i was at school i never owned white socks because i only wore black socks at school and now i don't go to school all i own is bloody white socks you know so, and socks go missing. We can't, we can't, the world just needs more socks. I'm just, the world has no socks anymore. Trainer life is hard. I also want to just say I'm filming on my phone because I need to buy a new camera. So all these icks are like are on my laptop. So that's all I'm looking at to get them. So that's why I don't have a phone in my hand. Constant sexting messages. 
Yes, especially, especially when you first start texting someone and they start sexting or they want to send like a dick pic or something right away. Like, no, ew. I don't think, I've, I don't even know how to, re I wouldn't even know how to react to that. Like, imagine opening up and someone just sends you a dick pic. Like, nice. You've got one. But no, constant sexting from boys. If you don't want it, boy, bye. Fucking no. Boys, fix up your life. Please, still in contact with their ex. Big ick, major no-go zone. Guy, if he's still talking to his ex, you do not go there. Where's your self-respect? You know your worth. Don't be going there. That's a big ick. And the same if it's a boy. If a boy starts talking to a girl and she's still talking to her ex. No way, man. Have respect for yourself. Like, just move, like, leave it. Like, get in the bin. Just go. Get in the bin. That's all I'm saying. Shoot. You don't need that. No one, no one, no one, no one should ever, ever go talking to their ex if they're talking to someone new. Nuh uh uh. You're a mug. You're a muglet. That's all I'm saying. So, flip flops, flip flops. Flip flops, no. I'm gonna let that one go. I can understand for British people why it's an egg, but for dating a South African boy who lives in flip flops, I've had to accept it. Like, sliders, again, is okay, but like, like, sliders is fine. Like, I'm used to flip-flops. Like, my dad is South African. He lives in flip-flops. Dean is South African. Lives in flip-flops. My mom, British, she loves a flip-flop. Like, I can't even... I just... It's something that I have actually just accepted. Like, I don't find that an ick anymore. Like, I can understand why people do. But then, because of who I'm surrounded by, it's just normal to wear flip-flops. So, it's not an ick for me. When people chew with their mouth open, making sound effects while eating. Yeah, gross. No, close your fucking mouth double dip okay i need to explain this one so yes do not double dip do not double dip big ick ever so double dipping if you don't know what double dipping is is when you go from one hole to the other oh god this is not what i wanted to explain on this video do not go straight from one to the other we can go from v to a if you really want to do that that's fine a to v no way you go wash it go wash it i'm trying to really like explain it as least as I can because I'm hoping that everyone watching will understand what I'm on about but yes double dipping is a big ick if a boy says to you can I go from like if he's in you know the back door and wants to go in the front door you say no you go fucking wash it big ick if he wants to put it in straight up big ick get rid of him when people wear zips right up to their neck I think again, that's a chaff thing. It's such a chaff thing. It's just like, because they wear it, I don't even have. Oh no, it's a Dean's house. I actually have a zip up jacket. I would have zipped it up on like, it's just like, it covers your hair. It's just like, where's your neck? Like, you look like you just don't have a neck. And I don't, I actually don't think jackets should be zipped up anyway. Like if you're gonna zip it, like for a boy, zip it halfway, you know, like, zip it halfway or leave it open. You know, like, but that's just my preference. But I can understand how that's an ick. Like, why is it all the way to the top? And it's like, if you're warm, if like, if you're cold, wear a fucking warmer coat. You know, like I can understand men don't really wear scarves unless you're like in your thirties. Like boys our age do not wear scarves, and I think that would really that would give me the ick. I think if I saw a boy in a scarf, like, because his neck's cold, so it's just uh, no. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. People that breathe with their mouth open. Oh, that's a personal ick I have. Like, people that go... <sighs> your nose is there for a reason. Like, breathe through your nose. I don't understand. Don't, I hate people that... I hate mouth breathers. Massively hate mouth breathers. Like, and I think it's the sound that mouth breathers make. It really makes me so angry like i just get really wound up by it like i have to move myself from their situation playstation and cod playstation ick no um it's not an ick but i hate it when they talk about girls they've slept with before no ick ill Ew, 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 ew. I do not want to know about your sexual experiences before me. I do not give a shit. Not at all. Girls, do not, do not. If you're honestly talking to someone or you're in a relationship, the other, your significant other does not want to know about your sexual experiences. Do you think 
I want to sit here and imagine all the shit Dean used to do. No, do you think Dean wants to imagine it about me? No. It's so off-putting when a guy is like to, you know, say guys, you're talking to a girl and you decide to tell her about some previous bird that, you know, you just did her up. Like, no. It's so off-putting because you, it's so, like, if you're honestly telling something like your past relationship or whatever, fair enough. But if you're just telling the person you're talking to how you fucked a bird or how, you know, like you did her up the ass or whatever you want to do. I don't even know, okay? Whatever you do. It's so gross. It's such a, off, like, it's such a ick moment. Like, it's so off-putting. Like, I do not want to hear that. I do not want to hear that. No. That's all. That's all we ask. We don't give a sh We don't want to know. We do not want to know. We do not want to know how much of a fuckboy you were before you met us. That's it. So, guys, that was the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I might do one very similar to this soon because I kind of enjoyed this. And it's funny to actually hear people's stories or what people's actual, like, opinions. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I will see you guys very shortly. And don't forget to follow me on the gram, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.